Good morning friends. In the last lecture we are discussing or in fact revising few understanding about static stability of an airplane and also very critical point critical understanding about trim and what we recall was if it is cm pitching moment coefficient versus alpha i will prefer my variation of cm versus alpha to be like this so that i have got an alpha positive sufficient enough for a given dynamic pressure so that it can produce enough lift to balance the weight for a designer as i have told you we use those information and try to visualize this basic understanding uh, through some simplest formulation which can directly tell tell me uh, what i should do as far as designing the various components of airplane which are amounting to stability and trim right for example from here we have seen for static stability dcm by d alpha should be less than 0 and to have a positive trim cm not should be greater than 0 and we have also seen that dcm by dcl is nothing but dcm by d alpha assuming everything to be linear and uh, divided by 1 by dcl by d alpha since this gentleman is always positive which is lift curve slope so when i say dcm by d alpha less than 0 is a condition for static stability i also equivalently say dcm by dcl less than 0 condition for static stability so now what what we do is pretty simple we plot a designer will prefer to have cm versus cl graph like this and the slope is dcm by dcl which should be less than 0 at trim that is important when i am talking about stability i am talking about stability about a trim point when i am talking about stability i am talking about a slope about the equilibrium about the trim here right now you also recall that approximately we could write dcm by dcl equal to static margin right okay and what was static margin static margin was defined as the distance between neutral point and cg non dimensional right okay so if i have an airplane and somewhere here is neutral point and the definition of neutral point was neutral point is that cg location at which dcm by dcl becomes zero or more classically neutral point is that cg location at which the aircraft become neutrally stable right okay this is an approximate expression but very very useful exp expression and see how the designer will exploit this understanding for example if i am designing an aircraft for a cruise and let's say cruise i need cl equal to 0.2 how do i get that cl equal to 0.2 yes when i talk about the cruise i know if i'm flying for best range or thrust required minimum let's say more generic thrust required minimum then i know cl should be equal to cd not by k so knowing the value approximate value of cd not and k i know what cl i am going to fly it could be also possible that you are not able to maintain the security equal to minimum condition then you know cl is 2w by s rho v cruise square 
So, whatever will be the condition, you know the value of CL to maintain at that altitude for a given speed. And if I am designing for a cruise, I know that I have to maintain lift equal to weight for a given dynamic pressure. So, I have to have a particular value of CL and let us say that CL is 0.2. So, if it is cruising at CL 0.2 means it is a trim point where there is no CM, CM is 0 so that is the equilibrium. So, this point becomes 0.2. Okay. Now, the question is if this becomes 0.2 what should be the slope I should design here at the trim and you know that this slope this cm by t cl is nothing but minus of static margin sorry this is we have a correction here this is minus of static margin and uh, let me put minus here and then the next question come is what is the static margin how much you want is typically the static margin np bar minus XCG, XCG is for the aircraft is typically it could be 10 percent of chord or is 10 percent based on chord, 15 percent. But if you are doing the final thing and you have got all the derivatives, everything is perfect, you may try to plan it for around 5 to 8 percent, right. So, that is the designer choice, but at a conceptual stage, I will say you start with static margin of let us say 15 percent safer because now everything is very, very you know inaccurate. These are all some estimates, all those parameters which you are taking. So, I will play safe. So, starting margin 15 percent means that DCM by DCL, which is equal to minus static margin, which is minus 0 0.15. So, this slope is minus 0 0.15. And I know I am going to trim the airplane at CL equal to 0.2. So, automatically I know what is the value required CM naught, which is CM at CL equal to 0. That will be 0.15. So, it is 0 0.03. So, message for designer is I need to put the wing on the fuselage in such a way I need to put this, well, this is the fuselage which we have not designed so far. So, I need to put the wing such a way that it should be able to produce that much of lift which is required for a given dynamic pressure at a CL point two. At the same time the aircraft should be statically stable. Further the CM not that C m at C l equal to 0, it should be around 0 0.03. These three conditions it has to satisfy. So, as far as slope is concerned to make a negative, we use horizontal tail and C m at C l equal to 0 that is C m not. If we have a confusion of when I when I write C m equal to C m naught plus C m alpha into alpha, this C m naught is C m at alpha equal to 0 because I am expanding with respect to alpha. If I am expanding with C l that is C m naught plus D C m by D C l into C l, if I am using this which I am doing it now, if I am using this formulation, then this C m naught corresponds to C m at C l equal to 0, right. But you will see that these are the ways if I understand how to how much I need C m naught and how much C l I need, how much D C m by D C l I need a priori if I know then I can easily manage this through one appropriate tail that is horizontal tail size, second thing tail and or wing C 
fitting angle. Third is tail moment arm. And fourth, you will find location of AC of the wing with respect to CG of the aircraft. This is what a designer will look for when he's trying to stabilize the airplane. And you will see that as I go for forward, how simplistically you can get feel for this number. One way our life has become simpler that if I know this is CM, this is CL, I know what CL I should design for, let's say CL.2. And I know what is the slope here, which is DCM by DCL, which is minus static margin, which is a minus 15%. So this is typically minus 0 0.15, which tells me what is this value, CM naught, equal to minus or plus 0 0.03. So the message is now, How do I put the wing and tail in combination? Wing is primarily meant for giving lift, right? but we have also seen if I am using a cambered wing, what is the primary role of wing? So a designer will give a priority to the different components. Whenever he thinks of a wing, say, oh, wing is meant for giving lift, but yes, it is true, it is for lift. Second thing you understand that we have a CM0 criteria, CM0 should be greater than 0, right? So here you see if I put the AC of the wing ahead of CG, then we have seen even at alpha equal to 0, let's say at alpha equal to 0, if I am trying to see about the CM about CM0 plus CM alpha into alpha, which is easier way to visualize, which is CM at alpha equal to 0. That means I am looking for CM versus alpha, where this is CM0, alpha equal to 0. Generally, it is easier to visualize this. You can, you can get same information from here. So at alpha equal to 0, you see what is the CL. If it is a cambered aerofoil, Right. You can always see at alpha equal to 0, what is the CL, that is CL0, you pick that CL0 point, CL0, and this, is, this becomes your CM at alpha equal to 0. What is the assumption here? The first approximation is all the lift everything is coming from the wing, right. It is the conceptual stage, that is why we are doing all this approximation. Now, you have also seen here, the moment I use a cambered wing, there is a CMAC of the wing, which is a concentrated moment which comes because of transferring the forces, which is negative. So that is going to jeopardize CM not to be positive. So what is done? One way, one way, please, from, please understand we are talking about wing. And we agree that wing primary role is to give lift. But I am also telling we can get a secondary effect from wing by adding some CM not positive, okay? Because this wing is carrying a luggage of CM AC negative, and I want CM not should be positive. What is done is you put the AC of the wing little bit of ahead of CG of the aircraft, and then you know that CM not will be CM. AC wing plus CL naught into X bar, which X bar is of course this distance X bar, which is of course non-dimensionalized with chord. So that will give you a positive CM naught, which will try to compensate for the negative CM AC which it is carrying. So what is the message? 
yes it is indeed true when you think about wing we primarily think in terms of lift but there is a way out by putting the AC of the wing little ahead of CG of the aircraft you can also contribute towards CM not being positive or towards positive contribution. But at the same time you should understand the moment I put AC of the wing ahead of CG of the aircraft this wing becomes destabilizing right. So if you want to make it st stable you are definitely are using a tail which is the horizontal tail in this case. So you put a horizontal tail somewhere here. Now what this horizontal tail will do let us see. Again I am talking from designers perspective I will do more methodical with formulation in the next class but this is a warm up class designers perspective will be if there is an angle of attack alpha seen by the airplane and it will also see some angle alpha star which will be less than the angle of attack you know because of down wash and all those details will come later but the message is this will generate a force lift right and that lift will give moment about CG right okay. So any positive angle which is coming right to destabilize this aircraft this tail will give a restoring moment. So we know that tail as far as tail is concerned dcm by d alpha will always be less than 0 that is f tail is always stabilizing. Now if you want to find out how to assess how powerful will be the tail in terms of stabilizing effect I know that yes this CM will be dependent on the lift on the tail. So I say since I am talking about non dimensional so CL of the tail and also this moment arm right the, this force into this length will give the moment. So it is also LT then tail area these are the primary things as far as non dimension is concerned and there you will see that ST into LT will play an important role for a given CL alpha tail of the tail alpha of the tail horizontal tail. Once you have chosen an aerofoil which is which is generally symmetric aerofoil then how much effective it will be will strongly depend upon what is the area and what is the moment arm right. And if we recall once we want to think in terms of non-dimensional term so we define something called VH tail volume ratio, tail volume ratio which is ST LT by S wing C bar of the wing. So this tail volume ratio is rigorously used to conceptualize an airplane initial stage from the stability point of view and typically you will find the, uh, the initial stage from 0.5 to 0.7 or 0.8 if you take you are fairly safe right you can do final tuning afterwards. So we will also see how to design a tail from tail volume perspective right. So this tail volume primarily it will talk about static stability it will contribute to a DCM by DCL. Please understand if I have put the AC of the wing ahead of CG it is a destabilizing DCM by DCL of the wing is positive. So this gentleman our friend tail has a primary role of providing longitudinal stability. Its role is not providing lift the primary role of our providing lift is wing. So the, the jobs are divided okay and we should also think different uh, separately. Now once uh, tells uh, primary job of giving stability is over 
we have to also think how to extract contribution of tail in making CM not positive. That is also important. Okay. So what is done, you will see. I will not talk much. This is I am just warming you up because my subsequent lecture will develop whatever we have done and then we will try to synthesize. But this is a designer would think like this. So once I give you the uh, all those expressions, you should be able to think in this term or you should be able to extract only those information which the designer needs. Designer does not require too many equations, right? but you need to have those too many equations understood correctly so that you can get those ex thus juice of the whole discussion. Right? So CM0 from the tail, if this is my tail, so at alpha equal to 0, I want the CM which is CM0, what I should do? I simply we set this tail at a negative setting angle i t so i t is a negative press down setting angle you can, you can very well see that at alpha equal to 0 daily force in this direction and c g is somewhere here so it will give a positive moment and we say c m naught so then what is the role of this uh, horizontal tail to provide major contribution towards DCM by D alpha less than 0 making the aircraft statically stable and also to contribute towards CM naught making it positive as desired. Right? Now what is the role of wing to produce lift and partially small contribution towards CM naught of the whole aircraft tending to become 0 or nullify CMAC negative. If you understand these things, in the next lecture we will build it up from first principle. Okay, thank you.